What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So, we're gonna check out worst WWE injuries of 2023. Now, it's part of the business. Sometimes you're gonna get injured. And not even sometimes, it's a good chance at some point in your career you will get injured. It's just part of the business. Um, and this is why you gotta show love and respect to the wrestlers out there because they're willing to put their bodies on the line every single night just to entertain us it comes with the territory and you know all you can do is appreciate them for all that they do by putting their bodies on the line so should be a good one appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel let's get right into this one man Shane McMahon has survived some of the most insane WWE stunts of all time. This makes it all the more ironic when you see how he got injured. After disappearing for mm -hmm. over a year, Shane McMahon returned at WrestleMania 39. The host, Snoop Dogg, put Shane in an impromptu match against The Miz, which turned out to be a bad idea. Shane performed a leapfrog, but landed incorrectly and tore the quad muscle in his left leg. The unfortunate accident yeah. just goes to show how even a simple move can cause disastrous injuries. However, we're going to see some much more brutal and- That was definitely unfortunate for him, man. Definitely unfortunate for him, bro. Painful injuries later oh in the my studio. God. Right now, your test is to watch this next clip and not cringe. Warning, it's harder than it sounds. On April 1st, 2023, Indy Hartwell won her first singles championship in WWE oh, when she captured oh, oh, oh. the NXT women's title. About three weeks later, Hartwell competed in only her second title defense, and unfortunately, it would be her last. Indy defended the title in a triple threat match against Tiffany Stratton and Roxanne Perez. During the match, Stratton hit a senton on Indy and Roxanne. Perez is fine, but Indy Hartwell's right leg got crushed due oh, to how his position. No. Boy, does that look painful. Oh, no, so I saw Andy it. Hartwell was taken out of the match. However, she oh, did return later for the finish. While Indy did win the match, she was forced to relinquish the title yeah, and has spent three saw months on the sidelines healing. Now, if blood is not your thing, do I not... I saw how the, uh, she landed. Oh, how was... Um... They landed, she landed on her leg the way it was bent. Oh. Not watch this next clip. The main event of Backlash 2023 so good. Brock Lesnar against Cody Rhodes. Like a lot of his opponents, Brock manhandled the American Nightmare. However, it was actually the Beast that got busted open. Thinking fast, Cody Rhodes dodged Brock's assault, Bro. causing Lesnar to- Bro. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can send this clip to dub. The fact, this one, this made this match that much more entertaining. Well, fuck it. This match was fun. But one, the fact that this nigga legitimately ran into the top turnbuckle and got busted open hard way. And this is not the first time Brock has done that. Usually when he bleeds, he bleeds the hard way. And for those who don't know, there's no blade job there. There's not enough time for that. He legitimately ran his head full speed into the ring turnbuckle created a huge gash in his forehead just to add extra drama to the match. Then they probably gave himself a fucking concussion, bro. Kudos. Kudos. I'm, I'm, kudos. Kudos, bro. Jesus. Hit an exposed turnbuckle. Brock's face immediately started to gush blood, and things only got bloodier and messier as the match. So dropped. fun, By bro. the end, it looked like Brock Lesnar had been in a slasher film. While it looked nasty, Brock wasn't seriously hurt. The same could not be said for what happened to Charlotte Flair. Yeah. In December 2023, Charlotte Flair was playing Asuka on SmackDown. Right before the show returned from a commercial break, the Queen and the Empress were doing a spot on the top rope. Unfortunately, they lost balance, and Charlotte's head landed uh. on the mat. Oh. oh my god. Despite how brutal the accident was, Flair continued the match and finished it. However, medical staff checked Charlotte out afterwards, and Flair spent a few moments in the ring before she could safely move to the back. It's not clear what the exact injury was, but it appears that Flair hurt her knee. In any case, the Queen was pulled from all of her upcoming matches following the accident. Yeah, she I believe she's out for like potentially nine months. It's gonna be a while. Wishing her a speedy recovery. I don't. I know people are not a big fan of how they book Charlotte Flair, but you know, I don't wish no injury upon anybody, and it sucks to see that happen to her. Uh, wishing her a speedy recovery, man. 
While that was ugly, the referee did not throw up the infamous X signal. However, the referee in this next clip did. Sometimes, it's the things that don't look like they hurt that cause the most damage. In yeah. July 2023, WWE is hosting a non-televised show in Salisbury, Maryland. One of the matches was a fatal four-way contest for the Women's Championship. Bailey was one of the competitors, but during the match, she accidentally ran into Asuka. While it didn't look serious, Bailey crumbled to the mat, and the referee soon threw up the X to signal uh -huh. that it was a real injury. Bailey was taken to the outside and didn't continue in the match. It was soon discovered that Bailey had injured her right knee, which put her out of action for a month. While that was unfortunate, the injury this next wrestler sustained kept it her in action for over five times as long. On a March 2023 episode of SmackDown, a massive confrontation took place that involved Drew McIntyre, LA Knight, Sheamus, and The New Day. Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, and Knight ended up on the outside, so Drew decided to take a dive. However, the three men were not positioned correctly, and Kofi took the brunt uh, of the impact. Oh, yeah. Well, Drew was was safe, Kingston wasn't so lucky. Kofi's ankle got injured as a result and actually required surgery. The accident caused Kofi Kingston to miss five months of action, and because of that, Damn. he missed out on a huge payday at WrestleMania. Speaking of which, one WrestleMania injury was so severe that it required 14 staples to close the wound. One of the biggest matches at WrestleMania 39 was uh -huh. Edge and Finn Balor's Hell in a Cell match. I knew this is what he was going to talk was about. definitely the right word, as Finn Balor would suffer an injury so brutal, the match had to be stopped. Yep. After going at it for nearly 10 minutes, Edge threw a ladder at the oh, demon. Oh, 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 oh my god. god. The impact cost Finn Balor's head. Bro, they had to stop the match. I know it's a hell in a cell. Why are they stopping the match? I, I understand. But they had to make sure he was good because he he was bleeding profusely. And this was a fun hell in a cell match. This was fucking fun. But he was bleeding profusely, bro. This is one of those, it reminds me of the, the Joey Mercury spot. If you guys remember that, uh, the little seesaw spot where his face was, you know, he didn't get his hands up in, a, in quick enough time and his face got obliterated with the, the edge of the ladder and he was busted open, like bleeding profusely. This is, it reminded me of that, bro. Them ladders, them sharp edges, whoo to get busted open and paramedics had to get in and check on Finn immediately. The injury only got worse and worse as the match progressed, but the full extent wouldn't be realized until afterwards. The cut on Bally's head required 14 oh, staples to close. Finn decided to make lemonade out of lemons and yep. made a t-shirt that highlighted the 14 staples he needed. Besides Owen Hart's Tough. 316 shirt, Tough. I think this is the only time a WWE injury has gotten merchandise. Now, what could be worse than one wrestler getting injured in a match? How about two wrestlers getting injuries in the same match. In May 2023, Bailey and Dakota Kai fought Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan in a tag team match on SmackDown. Considering how many people got hurt, this arguably was the most dangerous match of the year. First, Dakota Kai tore her ACL when she performed a tag team move oh, with Bailey. Yeah. Instantly, it was clear that Kai got injured. Sticks of Bailey really come yeah. to the oh, oh my goodness. god. Dakota Kai! Unfortunately, Dakota wasn't the only oh woman who was god. hurt. During a commercial break, Dakota Kai kicked Liv Morgan in the corner. It didn't look like it, but the move actually injured Morgan's shoulder. Liv, thankfully, wasn't out of action for too long. However, Dakota Kai's injury was much more serious. While she did continue to appear on TV, Kai wasn't medically cleared for the remainder of 2023. Uh -uh. Now, normally, the only people that get hurt in this type of video Sheesh. are the wrestlers. However, in this next clip, not only were the wrestlers hurt, but so was the ring. On the December 12th, 2023 episode of NXT, Dijak and Eddie Thorpe were scheduled to have a match. However, the two started fighting before the bell even rang. Once the match did officially start, it took less than a minute for the two to ram into the ring post and Damn. bust off the top turnbuckle. The steel from the turnbuckle took a bite out of both Dijak and Thorpe and left both of them bloody. However, Dijak definitely got the worst of it. Jesus! It, bad, it wasn't anything that was going to keep the two men out of the ring. This next wrestler, though, wasn't so lucky. In July 2023 on SmackDown, yep. Pretty Deadly took on the Brawling Brutes in a tag team match. Owen Prince tagged in and immediately got pounced. Yep. Oh. However, Prince over-rotated and ended uh -huh. up landing incorrectly Ooh. and separating his shoulder. Despite this, Elton finished the match and even got the win for his team. The injury, though, kept Elton Prince out of the ring, but he did continue to appear on TV. I'm starting to think there was a curse against tag team matches on SmackDown in 2023. Two yeah. weeks after Elton Prince's injury and 11 weeks after Dakota Kai and Liv Morgan, another wrestler got put on the hurt Especially list. with However, the women. this time, the wrestler actually injured herself. Charlotte Flair and Bianca Belair teamed up to take on Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. About three minutes into the contest, Deville nailed Belair 
tear with a kick. However, Sonya planted her right foot incorrectly, which caused her to tear her ACL. Unfortunately, DeVille would stay out of action for the rest of 2023. Now, if you wrestled in a WWE match, chances are what happened to this guy's body is what would happen to yours. Bad Bunny had a bad time when he fought uh -huh. Damian Priest in a street Fun match. match. The match had Fun a lot match. of moments and oh, used a number oh, of weapons. While nothing went wrong, the match did literally leave its mark. Oh my Bunny. god. Afterward, the rapper shared all the scars and bruises that were left on his body. To be clear, Damian Priest wasn't taking liberties with Bad Bunny. The reason you don't often see WWE wrestlers with this kind of damage after matches is that their bodies have built up calluses due to them wrestling uh -huh. too deep. However, the simplest mistake can lead to a pretty bad injury, as we're going to see in this next clip. I guess it shouldn't be too surprising that someone got injured Ooh. during a street fight. You would think it would be due to a steel chair, a table, a ladder, or some other foreign object, but nah. At Payback 2023, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn took out <clears throat> Damian Priest and Finn Balor in a street fight. Since there were no rules, Dominic Mysterio interfered. This was a good, this brothers. was fun However, too. However, as Dom was throwing fists, his elbow caught Kevin Owens in the head. After the accident, yep. Kevin quickly sported a crimson mask. Luckily though, the injury wasn't anything too serious and it actually kind of worked for the match. This was now, so to fun too. And worst of oh the man. Season 23, hit the play that was fun. That definitely was fun. Once again, respect to these wrestlers out here literally putting their bodies on the line just to entertain us. Gotta respect it. Gotta love it, man. Comment down below. Let me know some other videos you guys want me to check out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still your NSP, the YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.